Hello everyone, I am Supermodel Makai and I am back for my second episode of my small bathroom makeover. This video was to go ahead and show my tub painting process. My tub was currently beige and I painted it to white. However, my phone did not record the painting process video. Yeah. I have no idea how that happened, but my phone decided not to record me painting my tub white. So in this video, I actually had to purchase two um, cans of the Rust-Oleum tub and tile paint, which I'm gonna go ahead and show you me sink, uh, painting the second coat um, as best as I could with the tub already painted white. It doesn't matter, we're still gonna get it done. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my prepping videos and then we're gonna go right into myself painting, reenacting the painting process. So let's get right into it. cleaned my shower that was extremely tedious like that was crazy but hey gotta get the job done so this is squeaky clean I even cleaned the outside here so I'm gonna let that dry overnight and then I'm going to apply the lime away to clean it even more and then the next day we should be ready to start the white painting process yes. okay so I have now um, use some lime away and spread it on the tub let it marinate for like 30 seconds and then I have just a paper towel wiping it down and then I'm just going to rinse it with cold water and let, let it sit for the next maybe day or so let it completely dry and then prep it for painting look at all that looking good so far Okay guys, so now I'm officially in the tub. Look at that. So now I'm going to start doing the graining process or the sanding process. I have my 400 grit sandpaper. And I started like sanding down the ceramic or the tub now. I see some marks, but this is super fine. So I'm hoping I'm doing this right. So I have to sand down this entire tub and the walls in order for me to get started and ready. So let's do this. This is hard work, guys. So I already sand down over here, super fine. So I'm hoping this is right. some rust holes here rust holes a huge hole there so I went ahead and sealed it in with some steel stick this is life-changing so I just um, rolled it up and then filled up the rust holes and let that sit and then I'm going to do the same process that I did with my sink and cover up um, the black with some base paint or using this um, touch up paint to then just disguise the white and then I'm going to go ahead and begin um, applying maybe like four to five coats just to like block out that gray make it as white as possible and then I'm going to start the tub painting process Woo! yes so yeah 
All right, guys, we got this. everyone so I have completely finished the prepping step of my tub whitening process so I went ahead and removed all the caulk and then I went ahead and vacuumed all of that excess caulk out which was extremely tedious but we did it I went ahead and taped the faucets um, yeah getting everything prepped I went ahead and put the final three coats of the appliance touch of white paint so I can go ahead and start the painting process. That was so tedious, but I'm happy I did it. And we are about to finally, look at that. Look how shiny that is. This is gonna be beautiful. Can't wait. Let go. <laughs> okay, so now we have the rest of the tub with the tile paint roller. I have my nap paintbrush and also my foam corner brush here. So we're already set up. I'm gonna go ahead and pour my activator into the base and stir for two minutes. As you can see, I've already painted my tub, right? This is my second coat of the white paint. I'm actually going to go ahead and finish up with a third coat on these walls because I ran out of paint. I'm gonna start with um, fixing the corner or painting the corners with my foam brush here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and continue painting my final coat, which is three coats using two tubs of the Rust-Oleum paint here and get it done. So I have completely successfully updated and repainted the corners. Everything looks good. Now we're going to go ahead and put the third coat on the entire tub and tile wall. So, so far, so good. I'm only going to repaint these two walls because I redid this wall already with my previous paint. So I'm just going to go ahead and touch up these two walls. And then some spots for the tub, and we should be all set. Yes. So we are complete with the tub and tile white painting. It looks absolutely beautiful. I love it. This is three coats of the Rust-Oleum tub and tile white paint. I'm gonna let this sit and dry for one week, exactly. The instructions say three days minimum, so I'm gonna be extra, extra careful and let this dry for one week. No showers, nothing. I'm gonna take the, the uh, tape off in about an hour. 
and we're going to show this final result in one exact week. This is beautiful, guys. I love it. I have my Culk hair. I had this in white, so I went ahead and already laid um, the Culk down on the seal between the tub and the tile. See that? And then my final is take my finger here and smooth it out with some gloves, of course. You see how that's like already there. I'm just going to take my index finger and smooth it out. So we can have a nice consistent seal. Yeah, looking good. Look at that. So I did that all around the tub. So far looking good. And I am completely done. Let this dry for, I don't know, a day or so. And I am all set. Set. I'm gonna go over an extra coat. So far, this looks really good. This has been sitting here for a week. And I am extremely happy with the final results. time when you're painting please make sure you take a break and go outside and take some fresh air for at least 20 minutes because those fumes are no joke but the end result is always like it's worth it I love my tub I love the way it looks I love the color contrast I'm so happy that so far my renovation makeover is going well just a few things when painting your tub um, of course it is very very important to ventilate, 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 ventilate. Do not use a foam um, paintbrush roller because the paint or the tub, it eats up the foam. I had to learn it the hard way. So please make sure you get a nap roller paintbrush. And let's see, ventilate, of course. Um, I had to use two um, of the Brussolium tub and tile um, products. So. Yeah, I end up using or end up placing three coats of the white paint. Um, so, so it's extra, extra white, which I love. Again, patience, ventilate, take your time. It's worth it in the end. Um, what else? Follow instructions. It is important to follow instructions. That's thoroughly provided on the products. And... Um, That's it. So my next video, I think I'm gonna paint the walls. We'll see what's gonna happen, but I hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned for Supermodel Makai's small bathroom makeover. See you guys soon, bye.